Hey YouTube, Luke Arnold here from Happy Graphics and today we're just going to make a simple water drip like you saw in the intro before. Just select uh, any colour you want and get a background, probably a floor and a roof to get the falling and landing and the dripping down from a vertical direction. Uh, so we're just going to draw the simple uh, little blob at the top. Simple blob you get at the top, the nice thin thing that will eventually get larger and shorter and then turn into a long thin thing that will eventually snap and fall as water drop. So I'm just going to start with that I'm just going to increase the amount of frames to about 60 and click F5 to create them frames. I'm going to turn on onion skinning so we can see a, a low opacity shape from the frame before. So if you click F7 you can see, I don't know if you had to see on the video but along there is the shape we drew in the frame before. So this will just help us get a more smooth animation. So to, as water it falls to make it go long like uh, lengthways this way. It will also have to get shorter at the sides. So just going to draw a shorter line there. And I, you're gonna, I would advise you to put another frame in between these, like of a shorter distance, just for the tutorial sake. I'm going to make this quick. So I'm going to draw half the amount of frames that you should be doing, and I'm just going to smooth off the edge. I'm just gonna. This tutorial could be in two parts. Depends on how uh, well we do this today. Click F7 again. Every time you make a new a new frame, you're gonna want to click F7. And again, with the more detail, you should be doing at home. Uh, you're gonna make. I would advise you to to um, make your thinness. Like when we get to the thin bit, I would advise you leaving that for more frames and making it get more thin for a longer amount of time because it just looks more realistic. But it's up to you, really. You can do it the quick amateur way, like I am. You can do it the very detailed professional way and I made the intro that you saw before in a very quite quickly um, just because I know my last tutorial I didn't have an intro and I wanted to make an intro for this one I didn't want to make anything too too difficult er, not too difficult too uh, involved I just wanted to get the video out So as you can see, this is the thin sort of bit I've been talking about. And in the next frame, I'm going to make it quite thin, and I'm going to go for quite an elasticy, and not the complete opposite. Actually, I'm um, for quite a thin liquid. In the in the video before, I went for quite a thick, slow or thick, or even slow motion drip. Because when it hit the ground, it um, it uh, like jiggled around a bit, and it's like it's like had a high viscosity. If you use real flow, it's the only real way I can explain it. And for this next frame, I'm gonna leave it. Three frames for it to like dangle there, and now I'm going to make a super super thin shape. And now in the next frame, I'm going to make it snap. 
and I apologise for my extremely loud mouse. I I don't really can't really explain why it's so loud. It's just it's just the way it is. It's annoying for me. It's probably more annoying for you though because you're obviously not used to it. So I just missed out to draw this bit. And this drip here, we're going to draw one here as well. Let me show you that bit that cracks off in the middle. I know when talking to friends on Skype, um, I, they do get annoyed with my clicking. Yes, and I apologise for you as well. And my mouse is quite close to my mic, so it will sound quite a bit echoey, I think. Anyway, so you're just going to control X to get this drip. Just select the drip by double clicking on it onto a new layer. And control V to paste it onto it. We're going to move it up a bit. And this frame, we're going to click and drag there. So, and make it off, then on. And we're going to go along a few frames with F6, click in the middle. Right click and we're going to create a motion tween. It doesn't have to be directly in the middle, just in between the two frames, any closer to any edge. And it will go blue or turquoise sort of colour. If you go into your motion editor and. I haven't seen it Double click on the motion. Thing, whatever they're called, and we're gonna. I don't really know what I'm doing. Alright, so you're gonna click the slider and. And at the start, you're just gonna leave it at what it is. And, and then when you go to the end. With your motion tween, and you're going to on the y axis and lay it all the way down to here. So when we get here, we just get a like it will snap and it will fall and then when we get to here after this frame um, and then here we just want to delete this frame so we get like a um, a, a kind of sort of jelly like weird spinning out effect but back to the animation of this falling back in and, and we'll animate that little uh, excess water drip so we can click F7 again and I'm going to make this bit a bit quicker but we can do the exact opposite of what we have been doing as it's animated down and animate it back up I tend not to just add the reverse of the keyframes I am just I, I prefer to do it manually it's more practice and you might run along to a few mistakes that you now know how to fix Still clicking F7 to create a clear frame. And I'm just gonna speed this up. I'm just gonna do. A, I don't know how terrible that looks, but I'm gonna do that. Just to speed up so far, because I'm going to probably get bored as you are watching it. Bye. <laughs>